Hello class. So I'm going to discuss to you the lease versus purchase decision. So this is the decision facing firms needing to acquire new fixed assets, whether um, kailangan ba nilang lease or rent yung assets or to purchase them using borrowed funds or available liquid resources. So, um, nandyan sa module nyo yung step-by-step -step procedure kung paano gawin yung lease, for, um, lease versus purchase decision. So, um, i-example natin yung yung um, Robert's Company. So, Robert's Company, it's a, it's a small um, machine shop. It's contemplating, meaning um, hindi sila makapag-decide whether i-acquire ba nila yung bagong machine na nagkahalaga, nagkakahalaga ng $24,000. So, step one, we need to find the after-tax cash outflows for each year under lease alternative. So, the formula for that is after tax cash outflows from the lease is equal to um, 6,000 which is the before tax payment times 1 minus the tax rate. So, uh, given sa problem kung ilan yung tax rate which is 40%, di ba? So, what you're gonna do now is you just supply um, the formula with the given data sa problem. So, it's Six thousand dollars times one minus tax rate, or you can just I know um, use R if you want, but here we will use the variable T. Okay, so ganun lang you find you multiply this, and it will give you ilan. Dito, di ba, 40%. So, if you're going to convert that into decimal, that is 0.40%. Okay? So, pag multiply mo na siya, isosolve mo siya, the final answer is 3,600. So, this is the after-tax cash outflow from the lease. So, meaning, the lease alternative results in annual cash outflow over 5-year lease uh, for over 5-year lease ng $3,600. So, in the final year, di ba nakalagay sa problem, there is a 1200 cost of the purchase option. So, this will be added to the 3600 na sinold natin ngayon and you will get a total cash outflow in year 5 um, for the amount of $4,800. So, step number two, we need to find the after-tax ca cash outflows for each year under the purchase alternative. So, kailangan din natin itong isolve para makumpare natin kanina sa lease um, alternative. So, ito medyo um, mas mahirap siyang isolve because madami siyang uh, solvings like ito. Yan. So, to find the after-tax cash outflows for each year under the purchase alternative, we have the first column here, yung end of year, and then yung loan payments, beginning of year principal, and then interest principal, and end of year principal. So, um, it was stated in the problem na five years yung payment ng, ng um, machine, ng asset. And my installment payment na $6,170 every year. So, ito siya. And then, beginning of year principal, bakit $24,000 dito? Saan ang galing to? So, this is the cost of the new machine or the asset. It's also given in the problem. So, it's $24,000. So, how do we get the interest? So, dito sa interest, all we have to do is to multiply the interest rate. Ito given to 9%. Interest rate times ito, yung sa second column, a uh, column, column 2. So, 24,000 times 9%, ilan yung um, sagot dyan? If you're going to solve that, you will get an answer of 2,160. 
So we have 2,160 here. How do we get the principal? So all we have to do is minus this from this one. This is one, column one. So meaning um, 6,170 minus 2,160, we will get 4,010. Tama? You solve it. Oh, tama. Okay? So, how do we get... Next is the end of year principal. How do we get this? So, all we have to do is column 2. Ito yung column 2 natin, beginning of year principal. Minus column 4, our principal. So, 24,000 minus 4,010. We get... Ilan? 19,000. 990. So, itong end of year principal na 19,990, ito na yung magiging basis natin sa year 2. So, beginning of year principal natin sa year 2 is, ilan? 1990. 19,990. So, saan ito nang galing? Dito. So, every time you get the end of year here sa column 5, Siya yung magiging basis ng beginning of your principal sa next year. So, ito, dito lang yan. And then, ganun na rin lang yung gagawin nyo. So, interest. Paano makukuha ang interest dito sa year 2? So, 19,990 times 9%. So, ito yun siya. And then, dito, paano makukuha ang principal? So, meron tayo uh, 6,170 minus this one, interest, ilan na makukuha natin. So, that is the uh, column 4. And then, the list goes on. Hanggang matapos yung payment dito sa year 5. Okay? So, after natin masolve kanina yung interest tsaka principal components ng loan payments ng Robert's company, um, now we will find the after-tax cash outflows associated with purchasing for Robert's company. So, itong table na to, binigay ko na to sa inyo sa module nyo. So, sa end of year, given yan na 5 years yung payment, loan payments, um, given din yan. So, for the maintenance cost, it was also given na every year may maintenance cost na $1,500. For the depreciation, this is based from Mac RS. So, ano na siya, um, ano ba, parang fix na siya. So, given sa problem na gagamitin nila yung asset for 5 years recovery period. So, that's why, um, as you can see sa Mac RS, binigay ko to sa pinaka-last uh, page ng module nyo kung ilang percentage per year yung uh, mababawas sa original cost ng machine. So, dito, yung 4,800 na to, saan to nang galing? So, according sa Mac RS na table, Ang first year niyan, first year depreciation cost ay 20% ng um, cost ng machine. So, given sa problem na yung halaga ng machine ay $24,000, di ba? So, all you have to do is multiply 20% sa $24,000. Because ang 20%, yun yung um, value ng depreciation, yung mababawas sa asset. So, $24,000 times 20%, it will give you $4,800. So, sa year 2, um, nasa Mac RS din yun, year 2, ilang percent yung mababawas na depreciation? Sa year 2 ay 32%. So, 32% times mo lang siya sa original cost, which is $24,000, and then you will get $7,000. 7,680. And then, ganun din yung gagawin mo dito sa year 3, 4, and 5. Okay? For the interest, saan to nakuha ang interest na to? Doon sa sinolve natin kanina, sa unang unang table na sinolve natin. So, eto, given na to, na nasolve, I mean, hindi siya given sa problem, but nasolve natin kanina sa uh, first table. Okay? And then, for the total deduction, so, para makuha natin yung total de deduction sa column 5, kailangan lang natin i-add, sumahin lahat yung maintenance cost plus your depreciation plus your interest. So, 
yun yung total deduction dito. So, magkano ang total deduction? For example, sa year 1. Hmm? So, 1.5 plus 4.8 plus 2.160, that is 8,000. Sorry, sa manok ng kapitbahay. Okay, so 8,460 yung total deduction. Okay, and then meron siyang tax shield na 40% given yan sa problem, di ba? Yung 40% na tax shield. So, uh, tax bracket I mean. So, ang tax shield niya, kailangan mo lang i-multiply sa total deduction. So, ang total deduction natin ay 8,460 times 40%, we will get, ilan? I-solve nyo. 3,000. 384. Okay? Yung sa uh, column 7, dito ko na lang nilagay kasi wala ng space. So, makukuha natin yung after-tax cash outflow by adding column 1. Saan yung column 1 natin? Loan payments plus our maintenance cost minus our tax shield. Okay? So, magkano ang ating after tax cash outflow sa so year 1 so 6170 plus 1500 minus 3384 we will get 4286 dollars so ganun din yung gagawin nyo sa year 2 ganun din yung solvings year 3, year 4, year 5 Okay, so now that we're done calculating um, the cash outflows with the lease and the purchase alternative, ngayon sa step 3, we will calculate the present value of the cash outflows. So present value of the cash outflows, can you still remember in your previous lessons na tinuro ko sa inyo, merong present value of the cash outflow, uh, outflows na formula. Okay, so here, um, iko-compare natin yung leasing tsaka purchasing alternative. So, dito, first column is yung end of year. And then, second column ay after tax out, uh, cash outflow and then the PV of outflow. So, after tax cash outflow, saan natin nakuha yung 3.6 na to? So, balik kayo sa step 1 kung paano natin kinumpute yung after-tax cash outflow sa leasing. That is 3.6. And then, as you can see, sa year 5, 4.8 na yung nakalagay. Okay, so saan ang nakuha yung 4.8 dito sa fifth year? So, balik kayo sa step 1. Um, di ba, um, given sa problem na with the end of fifth year or termination nung, nung lease, uh, idadagdag yung cost of the purchase option na 1, 2. So, that's why 4, 8 yung fifth year. Sorry. And then, paano natin nakuha yung PV of outflow? So, in your previous lessons, if you can still remember yung formula ng PV of cash outflow. So, ang formula niyan, we have cash outflow divided by 1 plus R raised to N. So, yung R dito, hindi siya given sa problem yung rate. Um, so, kailangan pa natin itong isolve. So, how do we solve that? Ang um, given lang sa problem is yung cost of debt na 9%. Sa 9%. Makikita nyo yan sa problem. So, 9% na cost of debt times 1 plus R. So, yung R dito is yung 40% na tax bracket. So, if we're going to solve 9% uh, times 1 plus point 0 0.09 dito times 1 plus 0.40 and if it is solve mo yan it will give you 5.4 5.4% 5 so sa 5.4 na yan na percent hindi pa diyan kasama yung flotation cost um like kung isi-sell nila yung debt or possible 
na kailangan nilang ibenta at a discount. So, hindi pa kasama dyan yung cost na yun. So, ya-assume na lang natin na including the flotation cost, we will use um, 6%. 6% na ano cost of debt. So, yan yung rate na, na gagamitin natin sa problem. So, if we were going to solve um, CF or cash flow, 3.6 divided by 1 plus ba 6% dito? So, 0 0.06 raised to kung anong year. So, dito year 1 and then it will give you 3,396. You try to solve. So, ganun din yung gagawin nyo sa year 2, 3, 4, hanggang 5. Kunin yung PV of outflow. Ganun din yung procedure kung paano. Okay? And then, um, after that, after nyo ma-solve yung PV ng kada taon, ito total nyo lang para makuha yung total PV nung cash outflow sa leasing. And then, for purchasing naman, for purchasing, paano natin nakuha yung after-tax cash outflow na to? Sa okay, step 2, yung sa purchasing. So, nandun na yun sa table na ginawa natin kanina. So, all you have to do is i-copy nyo lang dito, lagay nyo ulit dito, and then, i-solve yung PV of, of outflows the same with what we did sa leasing. Ganun din. Uh, 6% din yung gagamitin na rate. And then, after that, masol after mo masolve lahat nung PV ng kada taon, itotal mo lang. And then, you will get the total PV of outflows para sa purchasing. Okay? And then, the step 4, hindi ko na isusulat. Sa so step 4 naman, is i-compare mo na lang um, which one is lower. So, here, sa PV of cash outflows under leasing, yung PV niya is 16,062. While sa purchasing ay $19,541. So, since ang present value of cash outflow sa leasing ay $6,062, which is lower sa ating purchasing na $9,000, 541, then yung leasing alternative yung pipiliin. Or dapat piliin ng Roberts Company kasi mas lower siya. ba? Meaning, makakasave ka ng ilan. If if, if ma-minus mo siya, ma-minus mo yung purchasing na 19,541 sa 16,062. Meaning, may makakales ka, makakasave sa leasing ng 3,479. And therefore, mas, ano siya, less costly for Robert's company. So, ang decision na dapat nilang piliin ay leasing and not purchasing. Okay? Kuha nyo. Okay.